Welcome back to our YouTube channel. If you are new here, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay updated with our latest content. Hackers are constantly developing new tools and techniques to steal our sensitive information. And one tool that has gained notoriety in recent years is Fisher. This powerful phishing toolkit has become a favorite among cyber criminals, thanks to its ease of use and effectiveness. So Fisher allows hackers to create convincing phishing pages that mimic popular websites. These fake pages are designed to capture login credentials and other sensitive information. Once the victim enters their details, the hacker can use this information to gain access to their accounts. This essay delves into the world of Zfisher, exploring how hackers utilize this tool to compromise social media accounts in 2025. We will examine the techniques used by cyber criminals, the impact of these attacks, and what can be done to protect ourselves. As we navigate the digital landscape, it's crucial to stay informed about the threats we face. By understanding the tools and tactics used by hackers, we can better defend ourselves and our information. The rise of Fisher is a stark reminder of the ever-evolving nature of cyber threats and the importance of staying one step ahead. Fisher is an open-source phishing toolkit that simplifies the process of creating and launching phishing attacks. It offers a user-friendly interface and a wide range of features, making it accessible even to individuals with limited technical skills. Zfisher provides hackers with pre-built templates that mimic legitimate social media login pages, increasing the likelihood of deceiving unsuspecting victims. These templates are designed to look identical to the genuine websites, tricking users into entering their credentials. To use Zfisher, hackers typically begin by cloning the tool's repository from GitHub, this involves using a simple command line instruction to download a copy of this Fisher code onto their own computer. Once the repository is cloned, they can access the various scripts and files that make up the toolkit. Navigating through the files, hackers select the specific social media platform they intend to target, whether it's Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, or others. To conceal their malicious activity, Hackers often employ tunneling services like Ngrok Cloudflare or Local Expose. These services create a secure tunnel between the hacker's computer and the internet, masking their true IP address and location. By routing their phishing traffic through these tunnels, hackers make it more difficult for authorities to trace the attack back to them. Zfisher's strength lies in its collection of pre-built phishing templates. These templates are designed to replicate the login pages of popular social media platforms with remarkable accuracy. Hackers can choose a template that matches their target platform and customize it further to enhance its effectiveness. They may modify the page's URL, logo, or content to make it appear even more convincing. Section 6. Casting the Net. Spreading Phishing Links. Once the phishing page is set up, hackers need to lure victims into visiting it. This is a crucial step in their malicious campaign. Without visitors, the phishing page is useless. Hackers employ various techniques to ensure that their targets are enticed to click on the link. They use psychological manipulation and social engineering tactics to increase the chances of success. They often achieve this by embedding the phishing URL in emails, text messages, or social media posts. These platforms are chosen because they are widely used and trusted by people. By leveraging these common communication channels, hackers can reach a broad audience quickly and efficiently. The more people they can target, the higher the likelihood that someone will fall for the scam. These messages are carefully crafted to appear legitimate, often impersonating trusted sources such as banks, government agencies, or well-known companies. The goal is to make the recipient believe that the message is genuine and important. Hackers spend a lot of time and effort researching their targets and creating messages that are convincing and hard to distinguish from real communications. The messages typically create a sense of urgency or curiosity, prompting recipients to click on the malicious link. For example, they might warn of a security breach that needs immediate attention or offer an exciting opportunity that requires quick action. This sense of urgency or curiosity is designed to override the recipient's usual caution and prompt them to act without thinking. Once the link is clicked, the victim is directed to the phishing page, where their sensitive information can be stolen. Section 7. Beyond the Basics. Advanced Phishing Techniques. While basic phishing attacks cast a wide net, more sophisticated techniques target specific individuals or organizations. 
Spear phishing, for instance, involves tailoring phishing emails to a particular person, often using personal information gleaned from social media or other sources. Whaling, on the other hand, focuses on high-value targets such as CEOs or celebrities. These attacks employ highly personalized and convincing tactics to trick victims into divulging sensitive information. Section 8. The Legal Line Ethical Hacking and the Law It is crucial to emphasize that using hacking tools like Zfisher without proper authorization is illegal and unethical. Engaging in unauthorized hacking activities can lead to severe legal consequences, including fines and imprisonment. Ethical hacking, on the other hand, plays a vital role in cybersecurity. Ethical hackers use their skills to identify and report vulnerabilities in systems, helping to make the internet a safer place for everyone. Section 9. Staying safe in a world of phishing. Protecting oneself from phishing attacks requires vigilance and awareness. Phishing is a deceptive attempt by cybercriminals to obtain sensitive information by disguising themselves as trustworthy entities. These attacks can come in various forms, such as emails, text messages, or even phone calls. The first step in safeguarding yourself is to be aware of the common tactics used by these malicious actors. Be cautious of unsolicited emails or messages that request personal information or urge you to click on links. Often, these messages create a sense of urgency, claiming that your account will be locked or that you need to verify your information immediately. Always take a moment to think before you act. Look for signs of phishing, such as poor grammar, generic greetings, or suspicious links. Verify the sender's identity before clicking on any links or opening attachments. If an email appears to be from a legitimate source, such as your bank or a popular service, go directly to their official website rather than clicking on the link provided. You can also contact the organization directly using a known phone number or email address to confirm the authenticity of the message. Enable two-factor authentication on your social media accounts to add an extra layer of security. This means that even if someone manages to get hold of your password, they would still need a second form of verification, such as a code sent to your phone, to access your account. This simple step can significantly reduce the risk of unauthorized access. Regularly update your software and operating systems to patch vulnerabilities that hackers could exploit. Cybercriminals often take advantage of outdated software to gain access to your devices. By keeping your systems up to date, you ensure that you have the latest security features and fixes. By staying informed and adopting safe browsing habits, we can mitigate the risks posed by phishing attacks and protect ourselves in the digital world. Remember, cybersecurity is a shared responsibility. Encourage your friends and family to follow these practices as well. Together, we can create a safer online environment for everyone.